Hey, what's good? It's Cadillac Tracks. I'm just sitting here thinking about what the quick tip should be today. Uh, today's quick tip is going to be about J Bridge. I already talked about J Bridge once, but it's real important that we all know about it. Uh, today's quick tip is J Bridge. J Bridge is this little app that I have right here. It's a program I installed on the computer. You can get it on the internet. It doesn't cost that much, or you can sometimes find it for a free download. And uh, what it does is it allows you to open 32-bit programs and 64-bit programs, you know, 32-bit versions of programs in a 64-bit program. So this is my Fruity Loops, and uh, you can see right here my Nexus has JBridge on the bottom. The reason is is because I guess uh, my computer couldn't find or I might not have had a 64-bit version of Nexus. And I'm also going to show you, I'm going to show you this right here. If I click on my machine right here, then I go to my plugins. The list will pop down right here when I get to it. <laughs> All right, here it goes. And um, you can see these are my plugins, and then you can see it. It'll go down here to the bottom, and then uh, it has all these J Bridge plugins. These are all plugins that would not have loaded up into the 64 bit Fruity Loops. I know Fruity Loops can load 32 bit plugins, but a lot of times, I mean, you might notice yourself that when you do your search for plugins, they don't pop up, they don't come up, they don't open up. It's because the uh, bit rate problem. So this is a good program to have, definitely a must have for a lot of us that have old plugins, like for example, uh, I really can't find it quickly, but I have a plugin that I use a lot. And, you know, it's one of my favorite plugins and a 32 bit plugin. And the only way I'm really able to use that plugin, here it is right here. <laughs> only way I'm able to use this plugin on 64 bit is by using JBridge. I used to try to open the plugin up and it would give me error messages. And uh, Fruity Loops would give me error and wouldn't open it. So this is JBridge. It's a good plugin to have. It does add a little CPU to the computer, but uh, it's really unnoticeable. And uh, it's a great way for me to be, open, be able to open up 64 bit and 32 bit plugins on different type of bitrate DAWs. You can see right here, I got um, it's a lot of them, just some of them, they'll open up with the JBridge. It's a good versatile plugin. Um, leave me a comment and make sure you subscribe. Um, if I get enough requests, I'll go ahead and I'll make a link right here for JBridge, the copy that I have. Um, like I said, it's a must have for serious producers. That way you can incorporate all of your plugins every time. This is Cadillac Tracks, I'm out. One.